Okay, Melissa, I've got your work up. And I, I just want to show you a couple of things. Um, I'm just going to open InDesign right here. I know you say that they're linked, but they're really not. See, it says could not find the linked file. And here's how we can tell. I'm just going to say ignore and the file will open. And then you can see as the way that I see the file or anybody else that's going to see the file is going to look like this. Okay, see those red blocks around your type and see that? And, and that the reason that is is because... Um, there's no graphics on your water bottle is because they're not linked. So if you look at the link panel and you see that like warning sign, that means they're not linked. So you would just have to go in and link those files or I'm sorry, embed those files. Um, okay. And then we can see the same thing over here, looking at your InDesign file. InDesign files, worse, none of them are linked here. So you have 10 links to sources that are missing. So if we OK that and look at that, you can clearly see that, you know, a lot of this stuff has got big question marks on it. And it, it's, it's because of none of it's linked. So again, here in InDesign, if I just go to Window and I go over to the Links panel, you can see that these are all have this big question mark. So none of those are linked as well. OK, um, OK, so it's a good thing that you you included the PDF. So we have let me see, we have uh, the booklet. We have the booklet. I don't have a PDF of the booklet, so I can't look at that. Um, let me see PDF of the booth. OK, here's your all of your stuff. OK, so yes. All right. So and then. Um, what I was saying about labeling your materials is that I, I think that your materials list could be a little bit more complete. Um, you, you, you know, you, you say 100% uh, recycled paper board, perf paper made without the use of chlorine, soy ink, cold set press printed. You mean, I, this isn't really telling the viewer anything because presumably the viewer doesn't know anything about soy ink or cold set press printed. I don't even know what cold set press printed is. So, you know, descriptions will really go a long way in this, this, um, this, uh, project. Also, I'm just wondering about your giveaway item. You're, you're using recycled stainless steel, but, you know, pointing to sustainability, let's talk about what happens to stainless steel if it gets thrown away into the garbage. It's steel. Okay, so it's going to rust and it's going to sit in a landfill for quite some time before it it um, does so before it it starts decomposing. And when it does, it's going to rust. And who knows what kind of toxic ingredients are going to leach into the the earth. So I don't think a, a stainless steel is a, is a good idea for a giveaway bottle. I would res, I would I would recommend using some sort of recycled PET or some sort of recycled. Um, um, environmentally sustainable material as opposed to using steel. Okay. And then, um, okay. So that's all I have. All right. So watch those links. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.